So, uh, visiting another landmark in New York, the Radio City Music Hall. One of the most popular places where people perform stand up comedy, they perform different different types of shows. It's a huge landmark. I'm a performer in America, the Radio City Music Hall is a big, big place to perform. Like many stand up comedians like Jamie Foxx, Steve Harvey, and different other people also started their career from here. Reaching here is a big, big thing, guys. It is not easy to come here and most of the shows, all of them are sold out here and I'm at the street opposite and uh, just behind the uh, Radio City Music Hall is the Rockefeller Center where there's a giant Christmas tree uh, at the time of Christmas uh, but now there might be a skating rink so I'm going there. Guys, I'm at another New York landmark which is the Rockefeller Center. Uh, it was uh, designated as a New York landmark in uh, 1985 and this building was made in 1933. It is 66 floors, about 280 meters and it is right above me. That's the Rockefeller Center. It is actually offices and a TV studio, uh, other offices as well. And the most beautiful thing you are going to see is under the Rockefeller Center is this ice skating ring, guys. So beautiful. People are skating. And at the Rockefeller Center on Christmas uh, Eve, there's a beautiful Christmas tree where people come and uh, see that tree. It is very happening. Uh, another, another really happy thing I can see is all these flags of all these countries. Uh, my eye just went on one flag which is my own country's flag the best country which is my country which is India just have a look how how it's flying hey, look at this beautiful gold fountain guys how cool is it there's music all around, there are, there are small kids and people skating. Some of, the, some of the people look really, really experienced in this because it's not some amateur's work. You need to be a good professional to do this. Just look at people swirling everywhere. Under this beautiful 66 story building, the Rockefeller Center. Just look at this beautiful cathedral that is in the middle of New York City, guys. And this full lane that you see, that is the 5th street, which is just all premium shopping, guys. And I'm going to go in all these stores and see it's a really long street. So guys, after some Nike shopping over here, I got like this, uh, this is not a paper bag. This is some uh, kind of a bag where you keep cement and all. This is a very durable bag. And after Nike shopping, uh, I got a 15% discount also because I wasn't a member. I signed up, so I got a discount. And now I'm walking on the 5th street uh, again and going to all these luxury brands. Some of them I can't uh, afford right now. But I will go and see most of them. Let's see if uh, I like something maybe in Louis Vuitton or Gucci or someplace. I'll just see how the shops are from the inside. Not sure I'm going to buy something but let's see. Window shop. As you know, Americans also spend a lot of money and this Gucci that you see uh, was uh, one shop that revolutionized uh, Gucci over here in the fashion business. Uh, also in the movie uh, House of Gucci, I think this store was shot uh, because this is a really famous uh, shop uh, under Trump Tower at uh, Fifth Avenue. Guys, I'm in another store which is actually not very expensive. This is a holy Esther store on Fifth Avenue. The clothes are really uh, sporty, they are simple. They have all kinds of clothes, they have sweaters, jeans. Uh, this is like a normal shop, uh, that's the ladies section. And uh, I'm in the men's section over here. You can see like there are plain t-shirts, there are some good shirts over here. This is overall a really good shop and actually this is also three floors. I'm gonna see all the floors. Down there there are casual clothes and up are the formal clothes. Let's see. That's Trump Tower on 5th Avenue. Uh, under which this shop is there, the Gucci. We have Prada over here, there's Tiffany and Company. But now uh, there's Bulgari, there's Mickey Moto. But now my eyes are on the beautiful shop of Louis Vuitton. Guys, behind me, do you see this long uh, chessboard kind of a uh, drawing outside the pay, uh, building? That's the full Louis Vuitton shop, guys. I, I don't know how many floors are there in this building, but this is all Louis Vuitton, guys. Can you believe that? I'm going in for sure and I'm going to vlog most of the things guys. 
the shop is phenomenal. Guys, that's the full Louis Vuitton store. Just look at this. How cool is this? We have Hublot and we have Tiffany and Company. There's Breitling there, there's Bulgaria. because uh, vlogging and uh, taking videos were not allowed inside and everything was really really expensive didn't buy anything I'm happy with my Nike stuff and uh, Louis Vuitton is something out of my league so it was a good experience overall going inside but someday I uh, like every someday I don't know what to say but someday I really want to shop something from here